Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dragon Quest XI, uh, with Hendrik and a horde of Heliodorian soldiers on their heels. Harrow and Eric have hurled themselves through the door of departure and into the Great Unknown. While soaking in the steam baths of Hoto, they meet a lost little girl named called Connie and set out to help her find her father. While searching, they decide to help a girl named Veronica who has lost her sister somewhere. Veronica and her twin sister Serena explain that they were sent to find Hero as it's her sworn duty to safeguard the heir of the Luminary of Legend, the one who defeated the Dark One and saved the world so long ago. Having joined forces, they agreed uh, that the best way forward is to make their way to Yggdrasil as the Luminary's fate is inextricably intertwined with that of the World Tree. Perhaps they will find out why it was he was born again after all these years. <clears throat> the friends find out from Noah, famed knower of things, that he saw a branch of in Galapolis that glimmered with all the colors of the rainbow. Reasoning that this might well be a, uh, a bough of the world tree itself, and therefore useful for them to end their quest, they set out to track it down. So, we're heading for Galapolis. The desert. Oh yes, that's right. I stepped out of town briefly, and she uh, she taught uh, Veronica taught me Zoom, which will allow me to uh, return to any town that I've uh, any any certain places. So Hodo is the only one right now, but. And obviously, as I visit more towns, more will open up. So, let's head out. The Intrepid Quartet heads out. Still didn't figure out how to get over there. Place certain a lot of people there in the hotel. Let me just make sure that there's no <coughs> other way over there hiding over here somewhere. see one. Guess I'll have to come back here later. Try and remember that's there. <laughs> Alright, so Galopolis is to the southwest. Already fought all these creatures, so I don't have to fight them again. Could get a horse, but meh. I like exploring on foot. Some breakage with my uh, capture. Give me a second. Let me close a few pages that might be interfering. I think that's better. Robber rabbits. Okay. Ah! 
Well, those guys are still on automatic. Now, I want to control your actions. Flopped me. Yeah. Hmm, thought that would have been enough. All right. Two robber dead, rabbits defeated. I don't think they're going to come back, Veronica. They're dead. We gotta take care, take care of those. We don't really have to fight these guys anymore. Doesn't look like there's anything else to find here. So let's go to the Galapagos area. Glass Frit. Lapalian checkpoint. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh dear, oh dear. I shall be too late, I fear. If someone doesn't step up to save the day. Tick tock's time was, uh, is well and truly up. I do not remember this from the original. This might be something they added into the new version. Tick tock, the clock won't stop. It really is five minutes to midnight. If only there was someone who could come to our aid. Hold on a tick. I'm, you've clocked me, am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? Well, it's about time. I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. This can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety-boo. You're finally here, not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a Tockle from the Talkington Way, and we need your help. Ickle the Tackle. We're in a troubling time at the moment. Can I ask you to come and be our hero of the hour? Sure. Ooh, th thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew I, I knew it wouldn't take you more than a moment's thought to agree. Uh, hero, who are you talking to? Uh, are you talking to yourself now? Sun got down on your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking. Come on. It's time for me to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me. Oh, but wait, before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey's log. Okay? Be there in no time flat. Hello.
Tickington. Hold on, what just happened? Things went all wavy and suddenly we're in this weird village. Oh look, he's so adorable, but who is he? Tick tock, looks like you clocked me too. You must be Mr. Hero here's friend. Welcome to Tickington, a place that's just a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally, only certain special people can see us tackle types, but the second even ordinary folks set into our home, they can see us too. Uh, I think I might need a little background here. Like, who are you? Where are we? Why the heck are we here? You know, just the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? Beginning? Yes, yes, of course, the beginning. Tickety boo, allow me to explain. We are the Tackles, and we live in the village of Tickington. It is a very peculiar place where time flows a little differently uh, from the way it does in Erdria. It's our sworn duty to make sure the time flows as it should, that past, present, and future are all in the right order, and that it is all unfolding as intended. In other words, we make sure that everything is tickety-boo. Oh, hang on a tick. I need to tell the mayor you're here. Why don't we have hit, let him explain the rest? So up the stairs and you'll find him in a very special place we call the Echo Chamber. So come on, shake a leg. The clock's ticking and there's no time like the present. Okie dokie. There's an in. Oh, this is a bank. Let's heal up. Why not? the echo chamber? Ah, uh, tick tock, look who we've got. It's the luminary, not a moment too soon. Ah, what marvelous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My name is Stickle, and I am the mayor of this fine place beyond space and time. Now, the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a sacred mission, and that is why we have sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that sit in the altars around us. In these sacred volumes are inscribed the tales of hallowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Since time immemorial, the duty of my people has been to guard these books and to ensure that great deeds of the past live on in the present. That is why we have created a place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, a sacred space where the adventure logs of all the hallowed heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time. Or so we had thought, but this holy haven has been sullied by an unknown miscreant who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books and lib liberally drop others in the ink. I am afraid I have no idea who committed the saint's crime, but I do know that it has to, uh, that as things stand, the heroic happenings of the past risk being lost forever. History itself hangs in the balance which is where you come in. As a hero of age, must you ask you to see to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into these volumes and set the time on the right path once more. Before you dive in, you must learn the sacred incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock. The past words. Sadly, these have long since scattered across uh, Eritrea. This being so, I have trusted my most dependable tackles with the momentous task of seeking them out. 
Would you find one of your friends in the course of your travel? Stop a moment and speak with them. With luck, they will have learned words that will enable you to journey through the pages of the ages. When you have learned one, you will be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known in space of time. Now, if I'm not becoming confused in my old age, young Ickle managed to find a password just the other day. Come, my little TikTok tyke. Share what you have learned with our friend. Yes, sir. TikTok. Let's make this quick. Now, prick up your ears because I'll only I'll say this only once. Okay. Now, vis visit Gallenholm via the Altar of Origins. Why not strike uh, while the time's on their side and look a closer look at the altar over there? A whole new adventure awaits. Come, there's no time like the present. Okay. Which one am I going to? Altar of the Heavenly Bride. So these are the old, uh... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the past 10 games. The Altar of Origins is etched into the monument. The altar allows you to visit old adventure logs. Would you like to visit? Gallenholm. Oh yes, these old games, uh, you picked everything that you were going to do. Oh, this is a little slow. I encounter Ray too. Really high encounter right here. <laughs> Everything is so slow, too. <laughs> oh, we might be here a while. Prithee, hear my tale, wanderer. Thou hast wended thy way to one time dwelling place of the legendary bard Galen, from whom our town is, taketh its name. Alas, thou hast arrived in an unhappy juncture. A foul monster hath had an affrontery to violate the tomb of our most famous son, and hath purloined with, our, with his most precious possession the, the lyre of ire. Know that the storied instrument is no mere dusty relic. Nay, it is a powerful artifact indeed. It could cause monsters to flock towards whom, 
whomsoever giveth a fable strings a mirror's brush. The thief knew uh, this only too well, and did strum it upon, uh, upon it until this peaceful place was overrun with hideous beasts, and the townsfolk had all fled in fears for their lives. It's surely the end of Gallant Home, that is, unless a hero can be convinced to seek out and vanquish the fiend that dared to pray us of a most hollow treasure, couldst thou be our hero? Okay, the Guardian of Gallant's Grave wants you to reclaim the Lyre of Ire, which has been stolen by a mischievous monster. Ward Gold Bracer. You acquiesce to this request. Thou art gallant indeed. Culprit uh, su skul skulketh yet somewhere in the town. Pray thee, push the rogue out and smite them with all they might. Oh, and keep thy wits about thee, friend. Tis off the case if the path thou seeketh lieth in the veil of darkness. Verily, the shadows can yield many surprises. And many monsters also. Tis certainly without a good deal of care, thou wilt surely perish at the hands of the creatures of Prowless Town. May the spirits watch over thee. Okay. God. Ooh, it casts BANG! That's gonna do a lot of damage. This one is red, but let's go after it. Strong one. Twenty points of damage from a from a regular attack. Hmm. 
Very fluff. Alright. Wahaha. <laughs> this liar of ire is hard to beat. I just keep drumming up new fans. Eh? Is that a human? Come to hear me play, right? What are you banging out about? You want me to give the liar back? After all the trouble I went to snare it? Fat chance of that. This thing is great. I'm a bit of a misfit among the bongo-banging brethren, you see. My rhythm's all over the place, and I can't sing for toffee. All I've ever wanted was an audience that appreciates something a bit different. Now all I have to do is strum the lyre, and a whole bunch of alternative music fans show up to kick it with me. I've never had so much fun. So you're going to try and take it back. I'm going to beat you black and blue. Drum roll, please. Okay. See if it has anything I don't think he has any special spells. Put a magical barrier up anyway. Let's try to dazzle him. Doesn't have anything worth stealing, even though I know he does because I'm trying to get it back on it. So now he should have a harder time actually hitting us. And let's buff Hero. Not really worried about the toads two enemies. Is he? Victory! Not sure so the liar of iron is no more. Go and give the old man uh, who asked you f uh, to get it back the good news. First, let's check what's down here. Okay. Looks like the enemies have stopped spawning since the uh, monster is gone. Lo, the wanderer returneth, and it seemeth thou hast recovered the beloved liar. Pray thee, hand it over to me. Okay. Praise be. Uh, the liar has returned to us, and the townsfolk who fled can return home once more. Words alone cannot be adequate. Cannot adequately express my gratitude. Perhaps this can. Save the gold bracer. And must now be laid to rest again beside he who hath eked such sweet music from its strings. Yet tis thanks to 
to thee that those of generations yet to come might seek our, out our greatest treasure should ever need arise. Posterity will thank thee, friend. You've completed the Hark, Har, um, Hurricane Horror quest. Good work. Alright. Can I buy anything from here? Guess I can't take anything from the past. Supposed to be a pub. All right. <laughs> so you have returned. What tales do you uh, regale me this time? Hmm? <clears throat> he tells the mayor of Tickington about everything that's happened during his adventure of the past. Just me. Galen Holm was besieged by monsters, you say? Hmm, perhaps these are merely musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that the vandal who defaced our beloved book may be attempting to rewrite history itself. But as long as you are able to visit each of the heroic ages and right the wrongs that have been wrought there, the proper flow of time will be restored soon enough. No chase, you need to continue to seek out and speak with the Tockles uh, who are traveling the length and breadth of... Um, a redrift and search for the password. Past words. The more of them you learn, the more ancient ages you'll be able to visit. If anyone can find them all and put things right, it's you. It's time for you to shine, dear hero. As tacos, their sacred mission has always been to ensure the great deeds of the past remain intact for the fu sake of the future. We need your help. Please, history itself hangs in the balance. Okay. Well, the gold bracer increases defense, or increases... Defense and charm. So, I'll give it to my mage. And seek out the other tackles. Okay, I do think I know where one tackle is. So I'm gonna stop the end really fast. And 
head back. How do I get back, though? I mean, I obviously know how to get back. I go through this hole here. But how do I get back to the tacos? Or Tickington? I'm Tickle Ickle's uncle. Come and talk to me if you decide the time is right to go to take a trip to Tickington. Oh wait, the mayor has something he wanted me to pass on. Uh, I'd get a proper ticking off if I forgot. Tick tock, tick tock. Bring back the past, turn back the clock. Okay. Uh, character build lineup, travel, system settings. Find tackles with passwords. There's 25 of them. Alright, I do think I remember where one of them is. So let's go see him. No one bites the dust, yes. Looks like I could have swore I saw one over here. I guess not. Fight again? Sure, I only fought you twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. So no tacos here. Let me think. Is there anywhere else I saw one? I mean, besides the obvious... I was wrong. an interesting distraction. But we shall be moving on. Yay. So pass without um, a pass. <clears throat> Here's the Galapagos pass. Very well, everything seems to be in order. Through you go. If you don't have a Galapagos pass, you're just stuck in Hoto. And it sucks. Though I suppose you couldn't get to Hoto unless. big place over there. Alright, so this is a new area, so I'll fight these guys again. Seven skill points for Eric. I want to see what this is. So let's save up for this. That's two rabbits. And 
three rabbits. Brownie has a lot of hit points. Easy peasy. All right, that's three rabbits. Arcane art that has a high chance of stopping an enemy from casting a spell. Restores 1 to 2 MP after winning a battle, wielding a heavy wand. Let's get that. <coughs> She only has four. She wanna just accelerate. Soldier sword. Is that any better than the probably not, but let's see. Nope, a lot worse. Okay, so I got one of the skull riders. One chimera. Fantastic. And one frowny. Let's go. Does one party number, so it's good for certain battles when I want to get the healer really moving. Skull Riders.
respawn. Two chimeras. What do we do now? Ouch. Witherwood. <clears throat> okay. Three chimeras. Skullriders. Veronica wins again. Just need one more brownie and I'll be all set. Yeah, you'll be dead before that happens. Oh. Okay, that's all the enemies of the area. The Sultanate of Galapagos. Cool. Let's explore the map a little, and then we'll uh, rest at the... 
the campsite and uh, call it a uh, call it a session. Dun Duneberry Cotton Top Cotton Top. Another half mini metal. Copper ore, gold ore, small scale. Oh, I see something shiny. Scare the dickens out of me, cacti balls. <laughs> Ow, these skates hurt. Rack and Ruin. Some essential that sends chance party resting critical spells through the roof. Sure, let's give it a try. I could be very useful during a uh, boss fight. Those critical hits would be nice. Okay. So I'm going to. I just keep getting better. Yes, you do. The dazzle. So we're gonna head over to the campsite over here. Call it quits. Hey, there's a uh, little guy over there. We'll talk to him next time. 
until then, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. And as always, have a good day and take care.